Okay, welcome to part two. Let's go ahead and add in some openings. The process is fairly straightforward. What I'd like you to do is use the line tool, line, enter, select the corner you want to start from, and then move across that line 200 millimeters. So I'm going to type in 200, press enter to start that line off, and then I'm going to connect it to an adjacent wall like so. I'm just going to adjust that there so it looks something like that. And I need you to continue the process anywhere where you want a window or a door. So for example, if I want one over here, 200, enter, and then go upward like that. Press escape once. Let's get a door here. Enter to reactivate it. Go there, 200 units. Enter, and then draw a line down there. And I'm just going to go ahead and add in a couple more doors, one over here. I'm going to use this as a reference line. Go down 200 units. Draw that one into place. And a door there, door there. And let's have a door in the front. So, and let's also have a door here in the back. Whoops. And I guess it was still attached. <laughs> so, one last time line, enter, select, go down, 200, enter, and then go across like that. So, it connects, and then press escape twice. Okay. You can do the same for window openings. So, anywhere where you'd like to create an opening, simply draw a line. And windows don't have to be 200 units from doors. You can kind of choose where you want to put them. So I'm just going to draw out some lines that are going to represent windows later on in the project. one more over here. Okay, cool. So we've created one for each opening and we're going to have to create a second one for each door. So each door is going to be 900 units and I want you to use the offset tool. So offset, enter, and then all you need to do is select the distance. So I'm going to say 900, enter, and then I'm going to select the object. And as you can see, if I move, it will automatically displace it to the other end. So you can kind of do that with each of the openings. You know, you create one and then you can automatically displace a secondary one. And all the doors are going to be the same. You have more flexibility with the windows. But we're going to make all the doors 900. Okay. And then for the windows, I'm just going to go ahead and change the offset to 1200 just have some larger windows available to me. So that one I made 900, that's okay. Use the offset tool and make them 1200, like so. One more here. Like so. Okay, so it looks like we have all our openings in place. Now we just need to create those openings by opening them up. So we're going to use the trim tool, trim, enter, select the object, enter, and then we just need to kind of hover over and just delete those areas. So you can kind of see how I'm doing that. I'm kind of clicking once with the mouse, then just hovering over it, and then clicking again. I'm not holding the click down. I'm just clicking once, hovering over it, clicking again. So there's no click drag, it's just click, hover, and then click again to delete. And those are all left clicks. So your end result 
will look something like that. Let's go ahead and create the doors now. Adding doors is pretty straightforward. Find one of the openings for a door, and then we're going to use the line tool, enter, and I just want you to draw out a line, a total of the width of the door, which in our case is 900 units. And then I want you to go downward, let's say a total of 50 units. And then we're going to go 900 more units. And then we're going to close this off. So that's going to be the swing of the door. We're also going to use the circle tool and draw out We're also going to use the circle tool and we're going to draw out a circle. So circle, enter, and starting at this point, I want you to draw out a circle so it looks as though it is connecting with the other side of the wall. And then use the trim command to select everything, enter, and we're just simply, whoops, I believe I was supposed to select a little bit more there. Trim, select everything, enter and then trim off the excess parts of the door so that you're just left with this portion over here. And if there's something you can't trim to select that, press delete and you should be okay. Okay, so it looks something like that. And there you go, you've just created a door. So now that you've made one door, chances are you don't wanna do that over and over again. So there are some easy ways to copy that out. And we're just going to go ahead and do that. Use the copy command, select the door, all portions of it, press enter, and then you can move it into place if there's anywhere else that a door is needed. Let's say I need a door over here. I'm going to go ahead and move that into place like that. And then to put it the other way, I'm going to use the mirror command, mirror, enter, select all that as well as this line, press enter and use the midpoint, click on it, drag it downward like so. And then I'm going to click again and it's going to say, do you want to erase the source object? In this case, I'm going to say yes. And if you do that, it will scrap that door. So now you have an entrance way leading out there. So pretty straightforward process. Use the copy tool, select, select, enter, and then move it over to where you need it. So once again, I'm going to go ahead, grab that, and this door needs to go over here. And there's no good way to move that, but let's go ahead and use the rotate command after which. So I'm going to select all those portions as well as this one and that one. And I'm going to use the rotate command, enter. I'm going to select this as my base point, like so. And I'm going to go ahead and click it once. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the move command, enter, to select those portions, enter, and move it into place like so. And I'm also going to copy that door over from there to over here. We're one door away. A copy here should do it. Copy, enter, move from that point over to this point, rotate it, enter, and enter, rotate it from that point to that point like so. Press escape twice. And as you'll see, all the doors are now in place. And we're going to finish up this process in part three. So I'll see you then. Peace.